So we go beyond kind of the day-to-day -day battle updates of what's happening in our proxy war against Russia in Ukraine and actually take a step back and focus on the big picture and the great threat that we face, which is the reality that this war is continuing to escalate. President Biden himself says he has no idea when or how it's going to end, but we know where this escalation leads. It leads us closer and closer to the brink of a nuclear war with Russia. Uh, we just saw the other day in New York City, I'm sure you saw how they put out a PSA telling residents of New York City, hey, here is what you do in the event of a nuclear attack. Uh, go inside, stay inside, and stay tuned. I almost fell out of my chair when I saw that PSA because it's insane. They're treating this as though we're like back in the 50s and 60s when you know teachers are telling kids to go under your desk and you'll be protected from a nuclear attack. It's crazy. The reality is President Biden, members of Congress, leaders in our country, the wealthy, they will have a safe place to be in the event of a nuclear war that they are behind <laughs> causing, while the rest of us in, in America and Russia, people around the world, will be decimated from this event. And yet they treat it as though it's nothing. It's nothing to take seriously. They're even making plans on how they can continue to wage this war from an underground bunker. This is the seriousness of the threat that we face and, and how crazy and disturbing it is that President Biden and people in his administration can be so nonchalant about Cavalier. how they are the ones who are continuing to drive this forward. Cavalier, yeah, exactly. I mean